Hello and welcome to Multiversital. My name is Jake Long and today's video is a follow-up to the DCU Justice League movie video that I made as an idea for the first DCU movie. The second DCU movie idea that I have is for a Superman movie. This movie would start out with Superman just flying around the city making sure everyone is safe. He swoops down into the city, changes discreetly into Clark Kent, and meets up with Lois Lane, Jimmy Olsen, and John Henry Irons for lunch in the park. Now for those of you who don't know, John Henry Irons is also the hero known as Steel. He develops a suit similar to Iron Man's, but he also carries a hammer around, and it will be explained that he did help Metropolis during Superman's absence after Doomsday killed him briefly and when Bloodshot shot him with a kryptonite bullet that was mentioned in the Suicide Squad movie. They discuss the aftermath of the events of the Justice League movie where Darkseid's troops attacked the Earth. After lunch, John Henry Irons goes his separate way and Clark Kent and Lois Lane work together as reporters they take Jimmy Olsen along with them to get some photographs. We see that Lex Luthor is now the president. His criminal record is unofficial, and he hasn't given Superman any problems lately, but they are still very suspicious of his next activities. Clark Kent and Lois Lane go home together and they have a nice evening. However, it is interrupted when there is an explosion in the city Superman rushes to the scene and helps everyone that he can. They find debris made up of toys. Meanwhile, a spaceship enters Earth's atmosphere and only Batman's satellites detect it. He contacts Superman and lets him know. Superman goes to the spaceship to find Lobo, who is actually looking for him. Now, Lobo is a bounty hunter from space, and of course, it would be great if Jason Momoa plays the character since Aquaman and Lobo are pretty different types of people and they can make him look quite a bit different, I think this will work perfectly. As Superman and Lobo are fighting, Lois contacts Superman, informing him of a bomb threat at a local stadium. She tells him to be extra cautious since the other bombs didn't have call-in threats. Superman buries Lobo into the ground and calls in Amanda Waller to send somebody to take him to the high-tech prison where they have been keeping super-powered villains. He also calls Steel to let him know. Superman gets everyone out of the stadium, but he can't find the bomb. Lobo's ship breaks him free from the rubble and he fights Steel. He manages to get away before the JSA show up. Lobo shows up at the stadium, and as they fight, several toy planes fly down towards them. Superman sees that they have kryptonite and destroys them with his heat ray vision. One more plane comes flying in and explodes in Superman's face. Lobo knocks Superman out and keeps the biggest piece of kryptonite he can find. He sees a camera and looks into it, thanking his benefactor. He hops in his ship and Lobo takes him to the Collector and just like the animated series, the Collector betrays Lobo and traps him too. Meanwhile on Earth, in Smallville, the Kents console Lois. How Superman gets out of this remains to be seen. I definitely wouldn't want it to be a carbon copy of the animated series though. I can tell you that someone is keeping tabs on the Collector and that someone is Brainiac. Lois and Jimmy find out who they think the Toy Man is. His parents were taken from him in the attack on Metropolis by Zod and the other Kryptonians from the Phantom Zone. We find out he ended up taking care of his two younger siblings, making them toys, and we find out that he finally wants his revenge against Superman now that Darkseid has left the Earth alone and they have other heroes like Shazam to protect the Earth. This could set up a good Superman sequel, or Brainiac would be a great villain for the next Justice League movie as well. And that is all that I have for today. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Obviously, some details need to be ironed out, 
but that is the basic premise for the first DCU Superman movie that I have. Thanks for watching and take care.